Thank you, Alana. With triple digit temps in southern Utah, officials say it's important to do your part to avoid a power outage and to know what to do if there is one. ABC4 Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero explains. It's as simple as turning up your air conditioning and turning on the fan to help prevent outages in your neighborhood. Next big user is like your stove uh, that, that uses a lot of your oven. Those things create a lot of heat. With high temperatures and wildfire danger here, energy officials say it's important residents take proactive steps to prevent power from shutting down. Colin Jack of Dixie Power says adding insulation into your ceiling could make all the difference. Make sure you get a reputable uh, insulation contractor to come look in your ceiling and uh, get a reputable AC guy to look at your air conditioner. Some of the older air conditioners use a lot of power for not a lot of cooling. In the event of a power outage, it's important to have batteries and flashlights. Rocky Mountain Power suggests that you try to be prepared for at least potentially 72 hours of, uh, you know, without electricity. And have a plan in place. If you happen to be a person who has medical issues or some other kind of special circumstance, you particularly want to, especially as that kind of individual, to look out for those kinds of circumstances, maybe have a plan so that you might go stay with a relative or a friend or be have some access to a way to help you get the supplies and uh, that you need. If there's an outage, make sure you contact your provider and let them know. Power leaders say you should also make sure your cell phone number is listed on your account. Reporting in Hurricane, Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.